The other things we're going to focus on here is activities. And now, um, in referring to activities, there's a lot of the typical activities that we do in an online course, uh, assignments, assessments, uh, discussions, etc. Uh, we also, um, see, oh, sorry, just making sure I can see the chat here. Okay, so we also have, um, I just put a couple of notes here. Uh, when we're designing our activities and our resources, really to think experience and think relevance. You know, there's been some good thinkers in, in, in uh, adult learning theory, which is, you know, really what we deal in here at a university at least, uh, who, ref who, you know, really uh, point out the importance of, of relevance and of how students learn better when an activity or, or a learning experience is relevant and how they also tend to learn better when it puts them through some sort of a you know, a real experience. Now, an experience can be watching a lecture, but an experience can also be um, having an opportunity to be able to discuss. An experience can be having an opportunity to collaborate, um, having an opportunity to actually practice. Um, these are the sorts of things that I think we have to be considering more than we often do when we create online courses. I have a note up here under resources uh, for delivery method. Variety is good. Um, I have a note down here to some of the work by uh, Richard Mayer and some of the multimedia guys who point out some of the benefits of multimedia learning. Um, and I'm also going to be pointing out some, uh, some student feedback later on that kind of points to that. And then um, scaffolding, of course, is absolutely uh, critical in an online course for students to be able to succeed.